What is up, Fix Flair here for Thomas Synthesizers. And recently I've spent a lot of time digging underground deep house again. And I thought that's a great opportunity to see what we can learn from the genre from a production side. Um, so what do I mean by underground deep house? I'm thinking about artists such as Mr. G, Brother, Jeremy Underground, and maybe also the early bicep stuff back when they still did this uh, Feel My Bicep blog. So let's first have a look at where to source the samples from that are typically used in this genre because I think that's actually the most important thing and afterwards it's gonna be pretty easy and then we can create a little loop that could be the basis for a track. All right, let's get it. All right, so here we are in my Ableton and uh, what I have here prepared are three sketches that I did. Uh, I'm gonna show you a little preview and then afterwards I'm gonna tell you uh, where I got the samples from and uh, how I arranged them and uh, it's gonna be super easy. So. Let's go. All right, that's the first one. This one is the second one. And the third. All right, you get the idea. And as you can see, this music is hyper formulaic. So uh, that's good news because uh, this means it's gonna be super easy to recreate. First, I'm gonna show you on screen right now a list of sample packs that are gonna get you a long way. Uh, so with these, you can already create a billion house tunes in this uh, vein. But apart from that, you should also go on forums and research and uh, uh, get your hands on all sorts of uh, sample packs because sometimes you just discover a new sample pack and you realize, oh my God, all of my favorite producers have been using this for ages. Um, so actually, I'm also super interested um, in the sample packs that you guys might be able to share. So uh, obviously write them down in the comments and I'm sure you can provide even more information collectively than I can. Um, but first, let's now start to um, yeah, have a look at the individual sounds, starting with the rhythm section, which sounds like this. And uh, as you can see, a lot of 909 in here. Um, this, I think, is actually just the Ableton 909 kick drum sample. Just has a little bit crush on it creates these overtones which just sounds a bit more like a vintage sampler um, introduces some noise and makes it have this little click in the higher frequencies that cuts through the mix and makes it sound more vintage uh, then for this track as you can hear there's actually no bass line but instead there's a low tom also 909 low tom regular stuff um, but as you can see, only one of the two hits here is actually perfectly on grid and the other one is um, a tiny bit late, which is due to the swing that I have on some of the tracks here. Um, and what swing does obviously is basically changes this to this. Um, and I think I was orienting myself on the tambourines, as you can see here, the tambourines and this MIDI loop here, it has swing applied to it, which is already consolidated. And it perfectly lines up with the tom. So that's why it's not on the grid. Um, up next, we have a 707 clap. So obviously you need all of the 606, 707, 808, 909 Roland samples because they are used all over the place and you should know each of them by heart. Um, why did I choose the 707 clap here? Because it's nice and uh, short and it just has this very clean impact uh, so it works really great just to signify the two and the four however it's not complex enough and not textured enough so i have this second layer here which is a more human sounding clap that actually doesn't even just have one impact but as you can see it's several claps layered um, and I got them from the Elab XTC Files of House sample pack. 
Let's have a little listen at them, um, at some previews here. Super amazing sample pack, really. Um, and obviously it doesn't just have all of these loops, but it also has all of the individual uh, one shots that you can hear in, this, uh, in these previews, including this clap sound, I think. Um, and layered together, they sound like this. Very lovely. All right, up next here in the spirit of Mr. G, I have an open 909 hi-hat, which is heavily compressed with the Ableton compressor um, to just equal out the volume and then cut off very drastically, pretty much by the kick drum effectively. And this is what it sounds like. Mr. G vibes going, I'm adding in a, an even more compressed panel on right. And yes, I know it doesn't come close to the Mr. G 909 right sound because no one can. Uh, and it's forever going to be a mystery how exactly he does it. Um, anyways, up next, Tambourine is going to make an immense contribution to the groove. Uh, and this tambourine sample is also from the XCC Files of House sample pack. I think here from the one shots, Baker's some tambourine, and then one of these. Yeah, yeah? I don't know which exactly. Um, what did I do here? As I already told you, I applied some swing to the MIDI pattern, which is already consolidated. You do it by going here, MPC swing, 16th, and I choose, I think, 59. But you can't see it anymore because it's already consolidated. So now you can see it here on the grid, how um, every second sound is delayed a bit, which adds the swing. And another thing that further humanizes this groove is, of course, this little... Uh, programming here in terms of velocity so as you can as you can see I'm pretty much simulating how you would move a tambourine which would be closer and further away from the microphone and this is what I simulate here which adds so much to the groove um, let's see it in the context now And the last also very important thing about the tambourine sample here is, as you can see here in the automation view, um, I use the pencil here to draw in some detuning automations. So it's not entire notes, but between notes. It's just uh, micro tuning basically. It's going to be different on every impact. As you can hear, if you listen closely with headphones, actually each of the impacts has a slightly different tuning, further humanizing it. So you get a lot more mileage out of this one sample that's very uh, static and suddenly it's humanized, basically. And I think the tambourine here is the most important sound for the group. And then lastly, uh, just a little shaker, I think from Splice somewhere, or also from the XTC uh, sample pack, I don't know. And lastly, some vinyl noise which is also never to be underestimated. All right, up next, moving on to the chords. And I think um, this first chord is from the XCC sample pack. Um, let's actually have a listen at some of the chords from the sample pack here. A bunch of iconic stuff. And I think the one I choose must be somewhere down here. Ah, there it is. 
And then what I did, I just put it into a sampler. You can also use a sampler, of course. And then just play it. And the important thing is to set the voices to one so that the notes cancel each other out instead of overlapping. And then playing around with the release time until you like it. And then pretty much with these chords, it's always the same chord one-shot samples, and then uh, just transposed with the keyboard. And then you just play around and trust your ears and your taste. And that's a tune already, yeah? That's another tune. You get the idea. Um, super, super easy. Let's have a listen at the other sample, the other chord sample that I used for the second loop here. This is also such an amazing sample. I think this one is from Splice. You just go to Splice, look for Underground Deep House, uh, select for chords, and then you use your amazing sophisticated taste to determine what's whack. And all of a sudden, you find stuff like this, and I think this is the exact sample. You go onto the sample pack and you realize, oh my god, House Nation, amazing. And uh, you got a bunch more beautiful sounds you can use there. Anyways, here the exact same thing, just put it into a sampler. And that's another tune. I have to correct myself. Actually, the chord I'm using here is from this sample pack, Old School Garage, which obviously also features Old School Deep House kind of sounds. So that's maybe another sample pack that you should check out. Nonetheless, House Nation is amazing. And lastly, here a third chord. I think this is from the Jungle Jungle sample pack. Super iconic. At the Siberian times for good reason. So as you can see here in the Jungle Jungle pack there's also a bunch of one-shot chords. And here it is. Lovely. Also, as you can hear, it also still contains vinyl noise, which further contributes to the vibe. And if you now ask yourself, how would I create my own chord samples like this? It's actually extremely easy. And as you might expect, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. And more often than not, it's pretty much just this one chord. So basically just <laughs> take these notes and play them with any soft synth or hardware poly synth and then you're going to resample it and then you can put it into a sampler, transpose it up and down, play it on a keyboard and this is what it sounds like. Um, let me walk you through the sound design process. Basically I just have it played with Super 8 um, and I'm playing the Decker's Dream simulation preset uh, that I explained in another video, which I'm gonna link for you, obviously, but it's just two oscillators. Uh, in this case, I transposed one minus 12. Um, so there's this deep version of it, and then there's a one octave above, and I mix them, just makes it larger and more rich. Has a little bit of noise, the oscillators are slightly detuned, and here, this is the filter envelope and the amp envelope. And I'm not opening the filter too much to make it too bright, but I'd rather leave it like this. So this is the basis for the sound. You can do this with any um, polyson pretty much, but this is obviously not vibey enough yet. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a little echo from Ableton, for example, tape echo basically, um, a delay. And the great thing about this tape echo kind of style is that here you can actually select the wobble, which introduces pitch instability. I'm gonna overdrive it really hard now so that you can get the idea. 
it's obviously too much, but in a very subtle way, like 30%. And then also just mix it in like 5% just to get this additional little groovy impact. And as you can see, um, there's also a little bit of noise involved here, but also just subtle. And now what's gonna make a huge difference is um, this little plate reverb. I don't know, plate reverb always has this beautiful vintage sound and you're gonna find it on a lot of these chords. Uh, I'm using the uh, emulation of a plate reverb by Sound Toys, which is lovely. Huge difference, especially on headphones. Here's an AB. Bam! Exactly what we want. And then lastly, as usual, RC20. What does this do? In this case, I'm using vinyl noise with an envelope follower. So there's now vinyl noise attached to the impact. Then here a little bit of wobble to create pitch instability, a tiny bit of distortion, but only mixed in 10, 20%. And a bit more reverb with a lot of pre-delay time to add this little groove, but also hyper subtle just to make the sound a bit more complex. And that's it. And now what we can do is basically resample it into audio. Which sounds like this. Ta-da. And now, here yeah, I already prepared a simpler track. And now I just title this my chord 5. And then I just drag and drop it into the simpler. Yeah. And now again, consider the voicing here. You just uh, have to set it to one so that when you press a second note, it's going to cancel out the first note. And, et voila. And also notice the uh, little vinyl noise sound that's now attached to each of the notes, which is lovely. So, it's as easy as that. And then lastly, all we need is to have a look at the vocals. I think all of these vocals came from Splice, from the mentioned sample packs. Uh, I guess you have to dig through them by yourself. And usually the samples in Underground Deep House are pretty much hyper-compressed, weirdly looped female soul vocals, like this. which is the first layer here, and then these other two, it's the same sample. Um, pretty much just a syncopated uh, which is also mandatory in each and every single Underground Deep House track. And as you can see, it's uh, syncopated here before the one, which uh, oh, it's a beautiful uh, little rhythmical accent. All right, that's it already. As you can see, pretty easy. And um, remember, don't forget to uh, tell us your favorite sample packs that you found over the years um, in the comment section, because I think this is super valuable information, especially with this uh, old school kind of music, which heavily relies on the use of very specific iconic samples, um, because sometimes you can try to recreate a sound for years and you're not gonna succeed. Uh, and Sometimes the solution for getting the sound that you want is just one very specific uh, sample that you've heard a bunch of times. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to see uh, what you have. All right, I guess that's it from my side for today. As usual, if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments and I'm trying to get back to you ASAP. And apart from that, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Peace out.